China's Communist Party has pretty much held fast to a mandatory retirement age of 68, allowing past party leaders to oust rivals and promote protégés. Hundreds of cadres have been forced to leave the 200-plus member Central Committee over the last couple of decades. The thing is, the man at the top, Xi Jinping, is now 69, and he will not be stepping down, due to a constitutional change he pushed through in 2018. It begs the question, will Xi's next power play be age limits for everyone but himself? Nearly half of the Politburo's 25 top government officials and potentially three of the all-powerful seven-member standing committee are set to retire. Li Keqiang already says he won't seek another term as premier, while Vice Premier Han Zheng and China's top legislator Li Jianshu are both past the retirement age. Many of Xi's other high-profile yet aging deputies also could be forced out, such as Xi's economic czar who spearheaded trade talks with Trump, Vice Premier Liu He, Xi's top diplomat Yang Jiechi, Foreign Minister Wang Yi, and the only female on the Politburo, the one overseeing COVID-0 lockdowns, Sun Chunlan. Elevating younger loyalists may not be such a bad idea for Xi, as he potentially could rule indefinitely. But the move would not be without risk, at a time China faces multiple challenges, from COVID and property drags on the economy, to rising tensions over Taiwan and Xi's support of Moscow amid a war in Ukraine. The final, somewhat factional, infighting for positions will take place behind closed doors. We'll know at the party congress close just how strong a mandate the main man has when he walks out with his new team in tow, offering as well possible clues to an eventual successor he's yet to name. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News.